Robert, big three late for the team. Uh, pretty much give him the go ahead three pointer late. Um, do you have the confidence all the time that's going to step into the shots? Every time I take a shot, I got the confidence for it. You know, I've been doing you know a lot of things for this team, so I've uh, you know my teammates believe in me. You know, the city's behind me, and you know I just stepped up and you know still come out the minute from last night. So you know, I just stepped up, and made a big shot. Would you, what, can you kind of take us through uh, that run down the court, that play? What would you see? In it was just. Um, they was it was a broken play on their end, and you know JJ swung it to me, a wide open three. You know Carroll contested it, but you know I got the ball laced up the way I normally do, um, and just went from there. Yeah, let it fly. What's the uh, what, when you're? I mean, when you're a shooter, you're gonna miss shots, obviously. Sometimes, what's the key to uh, kind of getting through stretches like you had there for a couple games? You ain't gonna know the outcome of a shot if you don't take it. So. You know, that's the main thing with, you know, you, if you pa if be passive on shots, then you never know if the next one will go in. So, you know, if you still have that rhythm, you know, still have the shot, you know, you still got to take it no matter what. So, you know, a lot of times, you know, I take shots that, you know, feel good, but they st don't go in. But, you know, next one to go in, you don't want to know if you want, like I said, if you don't take it. But do you ever lose confidence? Or? No, I've never lost confidence in my shot. You know, even when I was playing, having that little stretch of, you know, streakiness, no, nah, I never lost confidence in my shot. How tough was it to get to rhythm with how tight they were holding it early on? Very. Yeah, I had three fouls uh, first half, you know, got my early, fourth one early. So I never was able to get in the rhythm, but, you know, I stayed ready. And, you know, my teammates, you know, when the time came, you know, had me step up big. And, you know, I felt good, you know, stepping in the moments. You probably get the most criticism, like, like as far as, like, um, like a short because, like, there'll be times, you know, you go one for 12 or they'll be like four for nine, something like that. Uh, how do you tune, tune all that out or just focus on one year and being you? I've always done that. Um, you know, as I've, like you said, I've received the most criticism. You know, because of how you know up and down I've been in the overall playing. But you know, if you get caught up in all that, then that'll drive you crazy. You know, I've been one that, like I said, I I just talked to Mark. You know, he's asked me how I tune stuff out uh, and just just do it. You know, naturally I'm a kid from Chicago with tough skin. You know, I've been through a lot more than people telling me. You know, listening to them. You know, I mean. I have supporters, you know, you have doubters, you know, it, it all comes with it. So you just got to, you know, tune out. And then when you got a strong support system behind you, that's all that matters. You, you've kind of been the, the one constant in this locker room. How big is this next month for you? And, and Very, very big, you know. This is something, you know, we haven't experienced in a very long time to be in the position that we're in. So, you know, this next month is going to be crucial for us. It's going to allow us to dictate whether we're going to have home court advantage or if, you know, we're going to you know, be away. So it's the opportunity of a lifetime. You know, a lot of not a lot of people get to experience this, and uh, us being a small, a young team, you know, we get to experience this early on, and we get really get to see what who we compete up against in a seven-game series.